Welcome to Electrum Online. Here we have an interesting title for this video. It says, if an angle is inscribed in a circle, then. Well, what, what is then? What can we conclude? And first of all, what do we mean by an angle being inscribed a circle? Well, that means that the corner of the angle is right on the edge of the circle, like in this example. Here we have the angle A, B, D, and the corner of the angle is right on the circle. That's what we mean by inscribed in a circle. So what can we conclude? Well, here it says, if the angle ABD is inscribed in a circle, then the measure of the angle is half the measure of the intercepted arc. So here we can see the intercepted arc, and so we can have a measure for that. And that means that this measure here must be half the measure of the intercepted arc. Well, that's what we have described right here. The measure of the angle ABD is half the measure of the intercepted arc from A to D. But we also know that the measure of this angle, where the corner is at the center of the circle, the measure from A to C to D, that measure is equal to the measure of the intercepted arc. So therefore, we can conclude that the measure of this angle, ABD, must be half the measure of the angle ACD, and that's what we have over here. That is the conclusion we can draw, and a very important conclusion. So in a situation, we have a, a circle, and we have two angles, one that's inscribed in the circle with the corner at the edge of the circle, the second angle right here, which has the corner at the center of the circle, then we know that since they both have the same measure of the intercepted arc, that means that the measure of this angle must be half the measure of this angle. A really interesting and useful theorem to remember. So here, a quick example. If we're told that, if this is the center of the circle right here, right, and if we're told that this angle right here is 40 degrees, that means the measure of the intercepted arc is 40 degrees, or the equivalent in, uh, in radians, then we know that this angle must be half this angle, so therefore we can say that x degrees is equal to 20 degrees, exactly half of that angle. It's as simple as that, but it's good to know, and that is how it's done.